Hey guys, welcome to Learning Lad and in this video we will see how we can write a C program to display the number or a character in this X shape. So here in this program, first we will see uh, how we can uh, construct the logic for this and then we will write the program and then I will explain the modifications that we can do to this program. So here the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this uh, pattern in terms of rows and columns. So here we can say that this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row and similarly this is the first column, second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. Now if you look at this uh, pattern then one thing that we can say is the number of rows is equal to number of columns. So here we have five rows and we have five columns and similarly if we extend this pattern for let's say 10 rows then we will have 10 columns. Another thing is uh, for this pattern to look complete we need to have odd number of rows because when we have the odd number of rows we can have this center position you know with one value otherwise you know in the center we are gonna get two symbols and that will not look pretty. So whenever we take the number of rows, we need to enter the odd number of rows so that this pattern can look complete. Now here, uh, I'm starting the count from uh, one. You know, if we want, we can start the count from zero. Uh, if we start the count from zero, then this will be the zeroth row, first row, second row, third row and fourth row. And similarly, this will be the zeroth column first, second, third and fourth column. So here we are starting the count from zero. Now why we are starting the count from zero here is later I'm going to explain how we can use the same code to work with the arrays and uh, with arrays the indexing start from zero. So if we start the count from zero in here then it will be easy for us to modify the program to work with the arrays. Okay. Now here, let us see how we can construct the logic for displaying this pattern. Now, when we start displaying this pattern, we will start printing the first row. You know, we will display all the columns that we have to display for the first row. Then we go to the second row. We will display all the required columns. Then we go to the third row. We will do the same thing and uh, we will continue to uh, display the pattern. Now here what we have to do is we have to come up with the logic. Now let us take a look at the first row. So here we have this uh, character displayed in the 0th row and 0th column and the character is displayed in the 0th row and 4th column. So how we can come up with the logic for this? So here whenever we have the row number is equal to column number we can see that the character is displayed. So for this character, row number is zero and the column number is zero. So whenever we have row number is equal to column number, we can say that we have to display this symbol. And for this symbol, let us say when we perform row plus column, if we get the result is equal to total number of rows minus one, then we have to display the star. For example, for this one, the row number is zero, column number is four, is equal to total number of rows present in this pattern right now is equal to five because the count is starting from zero. So zero to four, it will be five element minus one. So it will be four equal to four. So we are displaying the star in here. Now let us apply this logic to other rows. Now if you look at this row, then whenever we have row number equal to column number, we have to display the star. So row number is 3. So here we have to display the uh, symbol where the column number is equal to 3. If you look at this symbol, then row number is 3 and column number is 3. So we have to display the star in here or the symbol in here. And then whenever we get row plus column is equal to total number of rows minus 1, we have to display the star. For example, if you look at this one, so it will be equal to total number of rows, which is equal to 5 minus 1. So it will be 
4 equal to 4 and we have to display this star so we can use this logic and we can construct this program so we have to check for two conditions and that is whenever we get the row number equal to column number we have to display the symbol and whenever we get row plus column number is equal to total number of rows minus one we have to display the symbol here i'm performing this total number of rows minus one that's because the count is starting from zero if the count was starting from one then we just have to consider total number of rows and no need of this minus one okay now let's see how we can write the program for this so here I have already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file so that we can use the functions like printf and scanf in our program. And then I have this main function, which will be the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we are going to use. I'm going to take integer types of variables. The first variable that we need is for storing the row number. So I'm going to call it as row. The second variable that we need is for storing the column number. I'm going to call it as column. And we need one more variable for storing the total number of rows. So I'm going to call it as num rows. And I'm going to initialize this with a value of 5. Now, if you want, you can ask the user to enter the number and uh, you can store that in this num rows variable. But make sure that you get the odd number from the user. That's because with the odd number of rows, this pattern will look pretty. So here, uh, what we do is we will uh, start displaying the uh, pattern by printing row by row. So first we print the first row, you know, in the first row, wherever we have to display the symbol, we will display that. Then we will go to the second row. Then we will go to the third row and we will continue. So here I'm going to use a for loop and this for loop will provide us each row. So I'm going to use the row variable in here. I'm going to initialize this row variable with a value of zero. Here I'm starting the count from zero and this row variable will contain the row number that we are printing. Now, how long we want to continue this for loop? As long as this row variable contains a value which is less than the num rows variable, we want to run this for loop. Since the count is starting from zero, we are having this less than symbol in here. And after that, with every iteration, we will increment the value of this row variable. Now we have the for loop, which will provide us the rows. Now we need another for loop for the columns for every row. So we will use a inner for loop and this for loop will provide us the columns. So for columns also, uh, we will start the count from zero. I'm going to use the column variable in here. And this column variable will provide us the column number. And how long we want to continue this for loop or how many columns that we want for a particular row. We have seen that the number of columns present in this uh, pattern is equal to number of rows. That is, if we have five rows in this pattern, then we're going to have five columns for every row. So here the condition will be as long as this column variable contains a value which is less than num rows variables value, we want to continue this for loop. And with every iteration, we will increment the value of this column variable. So now here inside this inner for loop, we can specify what we want to display for every column for a particular row. For example, I can use the printf function in here and I can display star and uh, if I write it like this then it will display star for every columns and after this uh, inner for loop you know once we print all the necessary uh, symbols that we have to display for that particular row to print the next row we have to go to the next line so after the inner for loop I'm going to use a printf statement and I'm going to insert a new line in here so that the next row which will be printed can appear in the next line. Okay. Now, if I save this program and run this code, then you guys can see we have this pattern. So here for every row, every column, we are displaying this star. But for our pattern, we don't have to display the symbol in every column for a particular row. We have to 
perform some calculations and depending on that we need to display the uh, symbol in a particular column of a particular row so here inside this inner for loop we will check for the condition and only if that condition satisfies then we will display the symbol otherwise we will display a blank space so i'm going to use a if conditional statement in here and the first condition is if the row number is equal to column number then we have to display the uh, symbol so let us say uh, we will write this so if the row number is equal to column number then we will display the symbol else we will display a blank space instead of displaying that symbol so i'm gonna add a space in here now if i save this program and run this code you guys can see uh, we get this pattern so it is only half of this pattern x so we have to you know uh, write in one more condition and that is whenever the row number is equal to column number we want to display the uh, symbol for that particular row or whenever we perform row plus column and we get the result equal to number of rows minus one if we get this result and whenever we perform row plus column number we will display the symbol here i'm using this parenthesis to group this code okay now if i save this program and run this code then you guys can see we have this pattern displayed uh, which will appear like a x okay now here we are displaying this uh, star if you want we can display any other character for example i can change that one to hash if i save the program and run the code you guys can see we get the hash displayed like a x let us see the modifications that we can uh, do here for example uh, here instead of displaying these symbols like star or hash or any other symbol if we want we can display the numbers for example i can uh, display the row number so i'm going to use the percentage d form a specifier and i'm going to use the row variables value in here if i save the program and run the code you guys can see we get this uh, pattern where for every row we are displaying the row number okay now if we want we can display the column number so it will look something like this or you can uh, perform some other calculations and you can uh, display that result now here one last thing that i want to show you is how we can display the characters of a string value for that i'm going to create a character array in here and let's call it as name and i'm going to initialize this uh, string value in here for example let's say anils here uh, make a note that i have five characters in here in this string value and also this num rows variable is set with the value five if we have let's say seven characters in this string value then we need to set this num rows variable with the value of seven and also here make sure that you have odd number of uh, characters in the string value and here since the row and column numbers are starting from zero or we are starting the count from zero we can directly use them with this uh, name array because with arrays the indexing will start from zero for example i can use the name array in here and i can specify the index reference uh, with the value present in this column variable and here since we are displaying the characters we can use the uh, format specifier percentage c and after that if i save the program and run the code you guys can see we get this pattern where the string values every character is displayed in this x shape and similarly you know we can refer the row variables value in here and if i save the program and run the code then the pattern will look like this and here let us say what happens if we have even number of uh, characters present in this string value here right now this name array contains four characters so i need to set this num rows variable with a value of four and if i save the program and if i run the code 
you guys can see this pattern doesn't look complete so uh, in order for this pattern to look complete we need to have odd number of rows okay so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video